The prostate is an organ found in men that helps produce semen. It sits behind the penis, underneath the bladder, and in front of the rectum, and is about the size and shape of a walnut. When cancer forms in the prostate, it often grows slowly, especially in older men. In fact, one in six men will get prostate cancer, but most will not die from it. Still, prostate cancer kills 30,000 men a year in the US and is an often misunderstood disease and challenging to diagnose and treat. Among the cancers that exist in humans, it probably has one of the broadest scopes from harmless, essentially, to uh, lethal. Prostate cancer is a more difficult site to treat than many others, in part because it's hard for us to know which ones are the important cancers to treat. In a way, it makes it a lot more difficult that people do so well, because a lot of, a lot of times if a patient has a low risk of prostate cancer, they can do very well for many years before they develop any symptoms or signs of the prostate cancer. This is why most doctors agree that screening is important. Screening is recommended for all men over the age of 50. African-American men and men with a strong family history of cancer are at higher risk and should be screened earlier. Currently what we have is, um, is a physical exam, which is a rectal exam, to feel the prostate and ascertain whether there are nodules or firmness, areas that are suspicious for cancer. The second thing that the internist or urologist may get is a blood test called PSA to see if an elevation in that blood test is suspicious for cancer. If a man either has a nodule on his prostate or an elevated PSA, he will go on for an ultrasound-guided biopsy of the prostate. These tests are usually performed in a urologist's office and are an outpatient procedure that takes about 30 minutes and involves mild sedation. 